Okay, next we have decrease in income. Somebody's got a decrease in income. Whether this is a loss of a job, loss of business, maybe business is just slowing down. What is this, please? Decrease in income. Thank you. Page of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody's struggling with money, business, new opportunities. Maybe you're having trouble finding new opportunities, new business opportunities. Maybe new clients. Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody's looking for, somebody's not putting effort in. And that person's defensive. Someone's very, very defensive, but they're not doing nothing about their financial situation. This person is a straight up, what the fuck? This person could be trying to get some quick money from you right now. You're leaving behind this toxic situation, this messy situation. Maybe you're the breadwinner of your family. Whoever this is, there's lots and lots of tensions, lots and lots of trust issues. Broken trust. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands. This person's not taking responsibility for their income or their lack of income or decrease in income. Why are they so defensive? Why is this person so defensive, please? A decrease in income? What are they defensive about? The devil's working overtime. Possessed by a low vibrational entity of the dark. This person is tripping. <clears throat> this person is feels like they're very forceful. Show me this person tripping over some income, but they don't want to put work in or nothing though. You may be over welding a masculine power in your life and denying your feminine side, suppressing your femininity. We got a very, um, a female that's very masculine. She's hella aggressive like a man. Very competitive. It may be time to forgive yourself or others. Moving to a new workplace. Somebody moving to a new workplace and they're just struggling to find work or what? Why are they so mad? What is this? They need to move to a new workplace if they're struggling like this. This comes out a lot. <clears throat> what is this? Moving to a new workplace? Whoever's so mad? This is the end, inevitable end. This person's hit rock bottom. Is this person homeless or something or what? The empress, there, there could be the pregnancy or mother, motherhood. This could be a baby's mom. This is the divine feminine though. This is, I see a pregnant female. Five of pentacles or a mother, baby mom. Eight of pentacles reversed. Maybe divine feminine, this person's looking for your money. My advice is to just tell this person straight up. Tell them, you know, I got my own shit to take care of. I don't know. <laughs> you look like you're not. This empress is not focused on whoever this is with these financial problems. Divine feminine, maybe you're moving to a new workplace. What is this? Somebody's mad. Eight of Pentacles, what does this have to do with Divine Feminine? Maybe this is one of your relatives, Divine Fem. This person's trying to manipulate you or something like that. Move into a new workplace, Empress. 
This person looks like they're trying to take from you, but this other person looks like they're gonna get some type of new opportunity, new work opportunity. Maybe you just started a new job. You're just, you're look like you ghosted this person or you're withdrawing from this person. Someone here is paranoid about something with this empress. Someone's trying to hold on to you for your money or possess you in some way, shape, or form. You know your worth. You know your value. I don't... You guys, maybe you're, this is a court battle over money or child support. Show me this other person. What the fuck is this other person doing? Show me this Ace of Pentacles. New workplace. Eight of Pentacles reverse. This person does not want to self-reflect in denial about something. Doesn't want to see the truth. Unfair judgment. Pointing the finger. Somebody's pointing a finger at an empress. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's Taurus and Libra. Somebody's pointing an unfair blame. Bad judgments. Somebody's not putting in the work. They think it's your fault or something. This person's trapped in fear. This person's fucking looks like they're delusional. They're trying to steal money from you or they just depend too much on you for money. This person needs to, maybe they need to get to a new workplace or something. Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're having a baby or you just had a baby. With this Empress and then Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Coins. I see a little baby here. You're building a legacy. Maybe this is a, a new business. Could be a, you're starting a new business or starting another business. Give me this, um, show me this energy here. What is this other person so defensive about? You're not working towards whoever this is with the money problems. Maybe you used to give them money before. You're not doing that. Somebody ruined their reputation. I'm not speaking with my karmic. I'm not answering their phone calls. I'm not answering their text. I'm not emailing them, but they continue to bug me. Somebody's bugging somebody over some money. What the fuck? Wow. But this person, this other person who's bugging you, they don't want to put any type of work in. This is a very lazy person. An empress reverse. Could be that sister or mother figure or the ex, baby mama. Some karmic feminine is codependent upon you. She wants you to put the work into her shit. This could be a male too, but I see an empress reversed. This is a feminine energy. She's total opposite of you. She's broke. Could have just lost a job or losing a house or some investment. This female's losing it all, you're gaining it all. It looks like she's losing it all, you're gaining the world. It looks like she's stressed out, restless. She's losing money. You're making improvements. What? You're balancing out your life. Maybe this was an ex-business partner. Eight of Pentacles. This Empress Reverse. This Karmic. Somebody relies way too much on you for money or your person. Somebody... Somebody's upset. This is the truth. Ace of Swords, you're thinking for yourself. Maybe you spoke to this person recently. This person's hella mad. This person's hella mad. Anyways, this, this is a damn demon. This person is, doesn't want to put no work into themselves. They want you to work for them. Put the work in and just hand them money, it looks like. Do they think you're their slave or something? I don't know. Maybe you're separating from that person. Okay, feeling bewildered. Somebody's confused or something, or they're having trouble thinking. Someone's just wandering aimlessly. Two of pentacles, some type of financial decision, some type of choice here. Could be a business decision.
Give me another card, these older. Releasing fears is over. Somebody made a very, very unwise decision. It's over. Somebody fucked up. Somebody fucked up their opportunities. What is this betrayal? Some betrayal or something. You keep me on my toes. As soon as these shackles coming off, I'm coming back to you. You can experience more than just perpetual letdown. You are worthy of this unconditional love. I see a masculine. What I've been seeing is a masculine manifesting a divine feminine. Somebody's having an emotional outburst. Whoever this is in this messy ass situation, they've got an obsessive and excessive focus on the material world. Obsessed and completely obsessed with the material world. Tempted, they're, for, they're trying to force success. This person's going to complete extremes to gain financial security or theft of money. Way overly dependent upon somebody for money. What, who is this having an emotional outburst? This person is really tripping. Very, very paranoid, guarded, defensive, chip on their shoulder once again. This person's paranoid. You must have kicked this person out or something because this is a failure right here. This person is having a complete failure. You're not speaking. This female is really vengeful. This female's got it confused or something. She's got wishful thinking. Fail. This is a failure. Fail plans, loss. Could be a fall from grace. It could be some type of embarrassment. This person's got wishful thinking. Seven of Cups. You're going towards your destiny. You're rejecting this person. This looks like, yeah, this male, this provider or businessman, whoever this man is, could be a wealthy man. He is not, she wants his money in his face for his money pentacles or some type of stability or an investment, some type of commitment. He's like, no, get the fuck out of here. I'm not interested. Leave me the fuck alone for the 30th time. This has come, this has been coming out a lot. So this is somebody that's like harassing this man at this point is what it looks like. He's like, get the fuck on. He's not saying that, but he's like, get the fuck on. Wow. Whoever this is, is like delusional or something. He's not communicating. Maybe that's why she doesn't know that or he or she doesn't know that. Because somebody's not speaking up. It is time to use more common sense. This female needs to use common sense or this male. Somebody needs to use common sense. This could be a mother figure or a mother. Some egotistical ass narcissistic female. It's time to face the truth, even if it's unpleasant. Time to use more common sense. Get more realistic. This People are not realistic. You've been overextending yourself. Somebody's... I don't know. This is too much. Somebody's got unrealistic expectations of this man with some money or something. What is this? A sugar daddy or what? Seven of Cups. Yeah. He's making a choice to have hope getting over his despair, getting over his anxieties, fears. Seven of Cups. We could be a Pisces. We have Pisces, and then we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male. He's very psychic, very intuitive now. He sees the bigger picture. This other, this female just wants some money. Maybe that's another woman. Could have two different um, females, two to three different females that want some money. He sees a bigger picture here. This female is just, she could be a gold digger or something of that nature. 
She just wants some money. She's money hungry. Very selfish. Could be some jealousy. I don't know. What the fuck? These people are tripping. These people are tripping. Okay, last but not least, somebody is entering a new phase of their life. Show me this energy, please. Let me split this. Yeah, you are with this full card. Looks like with a divine feminine, this could be you. Okay, you're very sensitive, very loving, very sweet, very intuitive, very in touch with your feelings. You've learned how to master your feelings, emotion, and the feelings, emotions of other people. You could be a mother, okay? You could have some kids or a child. You're entering a new phase of your life. Maybe you're a first time mother. You're getting ready to take a leap of faith off of this uh, cliff, a new journey in your life. You're very in tune with yourself, with other people, very intuitive. Entering a new phase of your life. Okay, somebody's been running from the truth. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, somebody's blindfold is off, so they could have made a decision already, came to some sort of conclusion. Somebody's no longer confused about something. Okay, we have Pisces. Okay, King of uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Split the deck, Temperance, Page of Cups. Could have something to do with the daughter. This goes along. It feels like this is that divine child or children again. A lot of you guys have um, um, very um, could have a star seed child, um, indigo children, crystal children, rainbow children. Your daughter could be a Sagittarius. Give me this. Um, maybe, maybe you just had a daughter or you just had another daughter. What is this, please? I see somebody sacrificing, getting rid of this jealous, this other female in the picture. This other jealous, there's a female here that's jealous. Jealous, money hungry selfish, ungrounded, immature. Somebody's sacrificing this person. Could be a Pisces, but what is this here? Even though I say I can't stand you sometimes, I still love you. I've seen you in my dreams recently. Page of Cups. Staying in ignorance. Show me this divine femme. Okay, healing alone time. Maybe you're spending time alone. Wanting to give, wanting to share. Maybe you're getting ready to share your love with somebody or meet someone new. Do not feel threatened by other people's success. There is enough supply to go around for everybody. Amazing wealth, multiple sources of income. You're very successful. Maybe somebody's threatened by that. Show me, give me another energy. Man cave, somebody's in their man cave. You loved me even when I was unlovable. And even though I don't show it, I'm so grateful for that. You're the only person who truly gets me. Show me this female that's getting sacrificed or cut out the picture. Time's up.
resistance. There's a lot of resistance from this other female or females or men or whoever is this people that are trying to focused on this money. Time's up. The divine is stepping in to clear the demonic energy. These people are demonic, low vibrational. Leaving behind a hopeless situation. Yeah, with these people, self-absorbed. Yeah, these people are just so selfish. They're self-absorbed in their own trouble. Somebody's moving to a new location. Maybe that female is. You're kicking that female out or those females. Are you thinking about me right now? Are you thinking about me too right now? I wish I knew. Somebody used poor logic in the past. All I have to do is get to you, then I will feel fine. Harmonizing with the natural rhythms of your body. Somebody's picking up the pieces. Give me one more energy, then I'm going to close this out. Let's get two more cards. Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the <laughs> new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. This is somebody, I'm seeing everything in a new light now. This is somebody like a mother, okay, or a pregnant female, man cave, wanting to turn back the clock. There was a man that was trying to turn back the clock. I'm almost, I'm almost ready to return to you. So somebody's returning to somebody and you guys are getting ready to start a new phase of your life or a new chapter of your guys' life. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. I hope I helped whoever's story this is. Sorry, this is a messy situation. Sorry you're dealing with that. Or if your person is dealing with this situation, reach out to your person. Uh, comfort them if you can. Pray for your person. Send them love. Send them uh, your light, unconditional love. Okay. All right, so I'll see you guys during the week. I'll see you guys um, during the full moon and cancer. So namaste, you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Get some rest, block out the negativity, and um, see you later. Peace out.